not going to say too much with this video. Usually I do, but I won't on this one because I don't know much about the car. I said on this video I'm going to not say a whole lot because I don't know much about the car. You know. Those original Opal wheels, Doug? The windshield's not cracked, right? It don't look like it is. Got some, I mean, how old is the paint? 30? Yeah. It's definitely a light glare. I'll walk around so it goes away and comes back on. Usually my, my videos are very boring. <laughs> but usually helps out a lot. Now I'm going to take a peek inside here next. Is this the original or did, has that been redone? That's original? So that's for spare tires. Uh. Wow, interesting. So what was the original color? Was it a blue or was it... It was a blue, a light blue. Oh, is that light blue that they had? Yeah. Typical things. Is that where? Yep. Oh, I bet your body you ain't gonna be able to see anything with this video underneath here. It's next to impossible to do it. Now she got lights. That's all right. You can. So he's probably talking about where this strut comes down, the strut rod. A little bit of rust right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the surface rust you see underneath here um, is going to be usually sand wash off, um, and then the metal just flashes over. Got new brake hoses on the back. That's probably good, Doug. Before we end up launching it up the front. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Then we'll then we'll link it back on to Yeah, that's probably what where they rust out at. Yeah, it's probably right where this attaches a bit. Right up in there and everything. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's just the unibody. If that would go, that whole rear yeah. end would go sideways. That thing really don't have any springs. It's got a few shocks up there and the trailing arms. And yeah. That's about it. So if 
back here. I'm not showing too many of this. I don't want to be carrying it. Yeah. It's 1970, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can lift it off you, Doug. A lot of people see these videos that I make and they say, man, that thing's got rust everywhere. I said, well, no, that's called sand wash off. Just sand washes the paint or protective coating off and it just flashes over. And you know, I hate to say, I guess I see some little rust coming back here in this back corner. I don't know if this is still the surface. Hold on a second. Been. There's that. Down low? Yeah. I mean, that's just what to do. You be fair about as much as you know you can do, you know? Sure. A little bit on each side in the rear. Not bad, though. A little bit, a little bit. And I, I tell you the truth, Doug, I bet there ain't hardly a one in the United States that's for sale that don't have some kind of, now unless you're paying thirty, forty thousand. Sure. Well, I yeah. Um, can we start it up in the air or do you want to let it down? Can we start it real quick? Well, I think it's good to start there. Well, it, no, nah, if, if you think we can do it up in the air like that. Yes, sir. Two things right now I have an electric chip and so it's going to become crappy running. Oh, do you think Has it got a Weber on it, or is it some... No, that's a Weber, because the old Solex was such a... I'm paying the butt, I know. Yeah. Doesn't sound too bad for carbureted... 1970. Alright, I think that'll be good enough, Doug.